All right, my friend, welcome back to the next Kajabi video in this mini series. So what we're going to talk about here is the website builder, because one of the things you're probably going to want to do when you, uh, you know, when you start with Kajabi, whether you have an existing website or not, is to set up your website on the platform. So for me personally, I did have an existing platform that I hosted on Wix. And then when I bought Kajabi, I basically um, took my Wix template and it duplicated it or uh, basically copied it exactly into Kajabi so I didn't have to pay for Wix anymore. Um, so basically when you get into the website tab, they give you the design tab and you're going to want to choose one of the available templates at your disposal. So these templates are all pretty different, but you can choose one, anything from like Taylor or, you know, creative all the way to a very, very simple streamlined home or whatever. The one I used was called Kim and each template basically gives you different sections that you can uh, customize for yourself. So it gives you a, a heading and headers right at the very top with a call to action button. It gives you like three little columns. You can share your socials or your products and then a little bio section. Maybe here you can talk more about your offerings, testimonials near the bottom, etc. So not only does it give you these sections where you can customize, but you can actually um, get a learning experience from the template itself. Like it, it recommends, oh, I would recommend having a template or sorry, a headline here and then having your bio down here, blah, blah, blah. But of course it's, it's absolutely customizable. So once you choose your template, you're gonna want to install it, which you can see I have it installed here, Kim. And I also have another template here that, you know, just as an example, Carl, uh, I've used previously as well, but I decided to go with Kim. So now we can click customize and take a look at these different sections. And of course, every website will look a little bit different. So definitely think about your branding, how you want it to look and what you want to show on your site. So here at the very top, I have a, a header section and these are the different elements I've added inside. So we have the menu with in-depth training, which leads them to my paid products, uh, my library, which is basically when they log into your site, if they've already purchased something, they log into their account and they can see all the products that they've paid for. Blog I have there because I have a few blog posts and then contact takes them to a separate uh, contact page where they can reach out through email. And then here I have a call to action, watch free workshop, which takes them to a landing page, which is an opt-in page. So if I click that or show you a preview, this is what that looks like. Watch for free workshop. And then it takes them to this landing page right here, which I've set up as an opt-in page. And here we have the form where they can enter in their first name and their email address. So here I have my, uh, my, my main body, like my, my hero section. I have my main lead magnet that I'm advertising here. It's a free workshop that we just saw, right? But I talk more about it here as well. So here's my main heading, my subheading, an image to show them what it looks like and the button. Right underneath that, I do a bio. So this is basically an image section with a text block next to it as well. Um, talk about a little bit about myself. And then the next section is just a bunch of text blocks with a few video blocks in there as well to show my demo reels. If people want to hire me to write music, then they can watch these videos to listen to my music. But let's take a look at what other content we can add within each section. We can add an accordion, which is basically things that scroll. Um, let me see, actually, I want to don't want to be wrong. Here. Oh, no, no. So sorry. Accordion is when you kind of multiple sections, but then it kind of collapses, right? So if you want to expand to see all the text, um, you can do that with an accordion, sort of like Q and A or FAQs sort of thing. So um, this one I'm going to actually remove, delete. There we go. Um, accordion assessment, like a quiz, audio file, blog post, call to action, like a button, different cards, countdown timers related to events, as we talked about previously, events right there, event video features like uh, testimonials. So yeah, a bunch of stuff that you can do. Multi-video launch, video embed, and the, just a regular video, social icons, all that stuff is available to you. Then here I have a couple of blocks uh, talking about my offerings. So this one talks more about my products line itself, like courses and stuff. And then this one talks more about my services. I can write music for you. I can orchestrate music for you and so on. And then the second half of my website is basically all social proof. So what clients say, these are people I've worked with personally. That's a mix of videos and uh, text. And of course you can change the images and the text, however you like. And then these are all my paid students who purchased my courses and my memberships and have gone through my paid material. So I just share them here. And then here at the bottom, I have a carousel, which basically lets them scroll through the different images. And yeah, you can set up the timing, the animation, things like that. Really, really cool. And at the very bottom of my website, I have one more reminder for them to watch my workshop because again, I want to collect their email address. So um, I have my text, my subheading and my button CTA right at the very bottom. And here you can see, you can edit the text however you like. And then the button itself, 
Um, you can edit the text, but also say, what do you want the button to do? Go to a landing page, go to a checkout page, download a file, right? And then where do you want them to go to? In this case, I went to a landing page, which is my opt-in page for my lead magnet. And that's it. So you can set up your website however you like. And that's the beauty of it. It's really, really flexible. It's not the most complex and most full feature website builder, as you can probably see. But I think for most people, it's it's more than enough for what they would need to set up their brand and have everything just integrated within the one platform. So speaking of which, if you are interested in trying Kajabi for yourself and you want to set up your website, you can kind of see how this works, um, but you want a little bit more time with it, right? 14 days isn't very long. So if you use my affiliate link down below, ChristopherCU.com slash Kajabi, then I can get you an extended 30 days with the free trial, plus those two bonus mini courses, Kajabi in 30 days, which you'll get immediately after signing up and content marketing for creators, which you'll get after becoming a, pay, a paying member of Kajabi. Just let me know and I'll grant you access to that. And you can get all of that when you use my link down below as a thank you for watching this video today. Really appreciate it. I'll catch you in the next one and I'll see you there. Take care.